Hello ladies, welcome to this channel. This video will help you put some structure into your hair care regimen. Hopefully kick off your hair growth journey and so you can start retaining four to six inches every single year. So I posted a question on Instagram the other day asking who has a natural hair regimen and who follows it? Only 10% said yes and I follow it. 20% said I do have one but I don't follow it and then 70% of you guys, um, myself included, were like nah, regimen what? <laughs> Alright, so I don't completely get it, I am, I am there. It's so, there's so much out there, so much information, you're supposed to do this and that and rice water and onion juice and garlic and DIY mask and hot oil treatment and deep, it's just a lot and it's like stop, it's too much. Okay, let's breathe and let's see how we can make this simple. So steps to having a great hair care regimen or a simplified hair care regimen is the first, just think of it as three stages. You've got your first stage, which is before you wash your hair, then you've got your second stage, which is the washing of the hair, and then you've got the third stage, which is just maintaining your hair. Simple, right? And then we're gonna break these things down just a little bit. You may need a pen and a notepad to take some notes. <laughs> Okay, so the first thing is before you wash your hair, you want to prep your hair, you want to detangle your hair, you want to do your pre-poo. Pre-poo is just when you're detangling your hair, sectioning it out, um, and getting your hair ready to be washed or to be cleansed. Um, how I personally would do it is I use coconut oil and some, and some conditioner that has lots of slip. So I section my hair, I put my coconut coconut oil in it, and then I just start to detangle with my fingers, and then I might go, go in with a tool. So first you wanna do is a pre-poo. So pre-poo, that's your first stage, get your hair prepped before you wash your hair. Wash day is gonna be broken down into your cleanse, your condition, your moisturize, and your style. Cleanse, there are three main methods to cleanse in your hair. It's important for you to cleanse your hair because clean hair, clean scalp equals a healthy environment for your hair to grow. The three different ways that you can cleanse your, your hair are one, using a moisturizing sulfate free shampoo, two, using a clarifying shampoo, and three, using a detox clay. So moisturizing shampoo, you want to use that weekly if you're gonna be washing your hair weekly, which I suggest to start off Go, if you can do it, do a weekly wash. So you would use your moisturizing shampoo weekly. Your clarifying shampoo, that's gonna strip off all of your, all that gunk off of the hair, especially if you use like heavy grease and things like that, or products with silicone. You wanna take all of that stuff off of your strands and your scalp, so that's when you're going to clarify your hair. And that you want to do once a month, once every six weeks. So four weeks to six weeks. And then lastly, detox. How we detox our buddies by you know doing like a cleanse, uh, um, a juice, a natural juice cleanse or whatever. How you detox your body, you can detox your hair as well. And that as well just takes out all the toxins from your hair, your strands. You want to do that four to six weeks. I suggest that you start off clarifying your hair first. So this is like, you know, cleaning everything out and you're starting afresh. And then going forward, you do a weekly wash using your moisturizing sulfate free shampoo. Okay, hope you're with me so far. Next is condition. So there are four methods in which you can condition your hair. There is your leave-in conditioner, which I suggest you do every single time you wash your hair. Then you've got the washout conditioner, which is the one that's got lots of slip. And this is really good as well when you want to put that in your hair and detangle. So you've washed, you detangle before you wash your hair, you wash your hair and then you can go ahead and detangle even more with the conditioner. It's got lots of slip, so that's what you wanna do with the one you wash out. And then you've got the deep conditioner. Deep conditioner is great. Our hair, natural hair, tends to dry out quicker than most other hair types. So you want to definitely incorporate having a deep conditioner in your regimen. Do this, I would suggest doing it weekly or bi-weekly and then, especially if you're just starting out, go ahead and do it weekly. So just get your hair strengthened and moisturized and get to a good state. So you wanna use that weekly. And then going forward, you can go bi-weekly if that's what you prefer. And I do suggest using that with heat as well. 
hooded dryer or a hot towel, just some sort of heat that's going to help it get into your hair strands. And then lastly, you've got your protein treatment. Our hair is actually made of protein or is protein. So protein treatment just strengthens hair and it's great to do um, once every six weeks, preferably. And now we're going to move to the moisturizing part of your wash day. So moisturizing part of your wash day is when you seal in. So we've washed our hair, we've put moisture in it with the water and stuff. So now we want to seal all that moisture in. Again, we've talked about moisture being water and I have a I'm going to link up a video that I did about your hair being dry and it's got like information and stuff. So I'll link that now. Okay, so moisture. There is the lock method. That was the method I used to always do, which is liquid, um, oil, and then a cream. But now I go for the LOC, LCO method, which is your liquid, your leave-in conditioner. And then I put my cream and then I put my oil. So the oil is going to lock all of that moisture into my hair. And then the last part of your wash day is styling. So for style, you want to do a low manipulation style. So think about styles that will last you seven days, six days, where you're not having to go in and change something, retwist this and do that and do this. Low manipulation style, preferably protective styling. If we're trying to grow our hair, we're trying to get on this, you know, healthy hair journey and get on a good, steady, um, hair routine, I suggest starting off maybe doing a protective style and this as well could be considered a protective style. My hair is braided, my ends are tucked in and I don't have to again take it out and mess around with it. I could just put a scarf on this and I'm good to go. So think about when you're doing your styles or when you're about to, um, when you're ending your wash day, think about a style that you know you don't have to mess around with. It's a protective style, it's a low manipulation style. It could be a wash and go actually. Yes, it could actually be a wash and go. If you are going to do a wash and go, I suggest that you put a really good quality product on your hair strands first before you put, if you're gonna layer it up, like if you're gonna use like Eco Styler Gel or something, that could be quite drying. So I suggest you first put a layer of some really rich, good gels or creams and then you can put your Eco Styler Gel. So, cause at least that's gonna coat your strands and then your Eco Styler Gel can be put on, on top of that. Now we're going to the final stage of the hair routine and that is your maintenance. Um, that is what you do after you've done your wash day. So we've washed it, we've conditioned it, we've sealed our ends and we've styled our hair. So now we want to um, maintain that and how do you maintain that? Just keep checking your hair and checking your ends. Again, if my hair is like this, I'm not going to be taking my bun out, but you can kind of feel if your hair is, your hair is kind of feeling a bit dry or something you can get an aloe vera juice and just spritz it and just spray it um, you get some water and just spritz it and just spray it and you're good to go don't do the most um, usually if you've done a really good wash and you've sealed your moisture in you should be good for at least three four days uh, if your hair is protected without needing to refresh your hair or re-moisturize but if you do you know your hair just keep an eye on it and then you can refresh doing it that way make sure you sleep on a satin pillowcase or use a satin bonnet and um, that again will help with retaining your moisture because cotton will suck out all that moisture and the last but not least and the most important thing is consistency so do all these stages or do all the steps and make sure you keep doing it and keep doing it and keep doing it and then you should be good. All right, ladies, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this was informative. Let me know in the comments down below if there's something that you think you can implement, if this was simple enough for you. To keep things very simple, I suggest you pick one brand and stick to that one brand, at least for like a month or two. So what I mean is, if you're going to do um, Cantu, for example, no, let's do Shea Moisture. If you're gonna do Shea Moisture, get your pre-poo from Shea Moisture, your, your, condi your conditioner from Shea Moisture, your shampoo from Shea Moisture, just have the whole range. Because one, they actually, these products actually work a lot better in a range than they do, you know, Shea Moisture here, Cantu here, this one there, you know. So I suggest to just go to one brand and get everything you need and then, you know, you're, you're equipped, you're good. Um, if you want to start adding all these other things, start all of that stuff after you've got and you've established a good 
regimen. Your hair will grow, your hair will blossom if you just stay consistent with keeping it and taking care of the hair. That's literally all you need to do. All right, guys. Um, so thank you again. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel, share this with your loved ones, your friends, and don't rush off. I've got some other videos that you can check out. All right, bye.